the way of the future of this. We're trying to make it into more palatable doses, uh, teach doctors about the safety of it, because it, they're giving them speed for hyperactivity, which this will work for, but mainly for pain. Kids can't take pain medicine and opiates at all outside of the hospital. We have these rare strips we're making now out of concentrated cannabis, it's 90%, and it just dissolves on your tongue. We have sprays that go down your throats, so it's not smoking, it's real medicine, and doctors are getting very interested in this. So I think we're within a year of being legit on, on that front. All right, great, man. That's one more foot in the door, you know. Yeah, one more foot in the door. And then PTSD vets after that, and then I'm in business. Oh my God, yeah. And for veterans are, coming out of from the war, that's yeah, what's stuff. Whose heads are all? Oh man, that's for I got. We you. have the one thing in the world. From Iraq, I run. Yeah. All the veterans exactly. keep coming back. And mon war for money, and it's like we need to take these kids and do like me. What cured me was helping other people. Exactly. And once that, and take these kids and teach them how to grow and teach them how to help the other. And let the vets help each other. And if I can get the ones that are messed up in the head helping the ones that got their legs blown off, I think we can get a program. Yeah, we're we going yeah with the federal government. What exactly. strains have you developed that would address those kinds of symptoms? Uh, heroina, um, We've got one, one called heroina. We've got um, probably about a dozen now we don't even have names for. We're using alphanumeric designations. We're trying to get away from the cutesy name shit. Oh, so interesting. We're coming up with a name system that will actually describe what the strain does in the name. So you know, sativa, indica, indica which one period. should be good for you at exactly. sleeping? You know, I got and then you. we have a list of illnesses broken down into ICD-9 codes, and we've tracked it over a couple hundred clubs now for years, of like 70% of our MS patients prefer this family of strains, and yeah. people try it out that way. Right, yeah, that's great. Man. So that's it's like great. more learning process still. A lot exactly. more data exactly. needs to be exactly. exactly. Are you collaborating with others on that? Yes, I have probably we a dozen different labs collaborate with me on this Wow, one. that's We're working great. out of Santa Cruz and a couple others, but we're doing the main work. But I've got a bunch of other labs and people interested in this. Uh -huh. We're even going back and deconstructing the strains that are out there now, the DNA from them. So we have profiles and stuff like that so we can reconstruct specific strains for specific Wow. Oh my How many years God. have you been? I did my PhD on that. Oh like, my God, wow, that's you know. When did you start this? Oh shoot, 90. 1990. I was a refugee in Canada for five years over this already. Really? And the feds kidnapped me from Canada and dropped charges. Wow. Because so many people got pissed off because I was just trying to. Oh, they tried to do that. I didn't show the witness. You wish to see if you tried to bring you to Brazil, create a program, and then try to educate people sure, about medical marijuana? Right? I'll come down for a while. No problem. I'm always yeah. game for teaching and helping. Anytime, right. Thanks, Mr. Tuck. Thanks. I just got my passport. That's you got good. My passport back. Yeah, so we get you a visa, visa, visa though. Sure, right. That's right, right man. Thank you very much. Perfect time.